Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Forms with Zoho CRM. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Google Forms or just log in to our existing Google account. Once we're in here, we'll soon enough find out that we can't make this integration work straight through uh, Google Forms. So we have to use third-party app for actually managing to create this integration. I've decided to use automate.io, which is a very good app for integrations. And once we are here, let's go to integrations on the top corner of our screen. Click on integrations. And once this pop-up window show up, Go to the bottom left part and see all categories. At app integrations, we should pick the first integration that or first app we want to integrate. At our case, it Google Forms. Once you type down Forms, it's like the third option. Now we have to pick its counterpart. Now we want to go with Zoho CRM. Straight away, there are a couple of options for us as popular integrations between those two. But if we won't be able to find the integration that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left part underneath the triggers, you want to go with Google Forms. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with the Zoho CRM don't twist it up so because it won't work like this i'm going with the first option so yeah you know just to show you and now click on try it now button we get redirected to sign up page and we be asked uh, to log in or register to our automate.io account we can also use zapier.com which is a very similar app to automate.io. Uh, once we create account here, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create Zap. Once we're in here, we want to start with the trigger. And so, same as at, as at automate, we want to go with Google Forms. Trigger event, we have two options now. So let's go with the one, uh, with the first one. Now we have to log into the account that we created. And now we should set up a trigger. Let's go with whichever spreadsheet you have and the worksheet as well. Continue. And now we can test the trigger. On the second action, you want to go with Zoho. Like this. Now, uh, we have to pick manually the action event. So let's stick with the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to log in to our Zoho CRM account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.